Hi, my name is Evelyn, and you're watching The Wolf's Den. Hooyah! Welcome back to the Wolf Stand Part 3 of my epic series from Living Legends. First things first, thank you for very, very, very much for watching the last two editions. Excellent! Crazy results. I've got a whole bunch of new subscribers. Welcome, new subscribers to the new Wolf Stand. Hi, nice to meet Are you. Are you I'm very, very. And I got something brand new to show you. Well, not really brand new, but I'm brand new to it. The brand new Flask Collection of Barrels. Oh my, he's good! Let's do a fast, fast, awesome review on this thing. I took this out to the field. This is amazing. Flask, otherwise known as Frozen Land and Sniper Creek Paintball, has brought you this wicked barrel kit. Um, it comes with everything. You can choose to have this specific kit or not. Let's start from the beginning, shall we? It comes with five, count them, five nine-inch barrels that all they're all in different sizes. It comes in. It comes from 0 .680 all the way to 0 .693. Five different sizes. Uh, very easy screw on tips. The tips are wicked, wicked, wicked for them. Uh, it's got like... This. I'm going to make a mess of this today because I'm going quick. You know me. Let me switch it around. It's got the five different sizes. It's got the crazy tips. Very strategic. The razor cutter look. Very cool. It's got that look. Very cool. And two of my favorites that I have to, the, uh, it's got the crazy modded looking four prong flash suppressor look. On the end of your gun, badass. This, very easy screwed on, this goes in your gun, the tips go on here. And, uh, it's, it just looks wicked when you have it on your marker. Boom. Plays. Crazy. Throw that. Next. It comes with everything you need. This, the piece that is these stones. They call it the cannonizer. Damn! It makes your shots louder. Louder. Crazy. I put this on my gun. I had turned all the heads at the field when I started shooting with this thing. It cre increases like the decibels of like 20, 30 decibels or something like that. Ridiculously louder. Fits on any one of these ends as hotness. Uh, they come double threaded, which means they're threaded on both ends. Uh, so you can add on and add on and add on. Uh, you can go from nine, the 9 inch all the way to 19 inch when you add on some of this stuff. It comes with, flip it over. Ta-da! Craziness. It comes with an apex Excellent. in the kit that you can screw onto any one of those barrels. It comes with different extensions. You can have them from no porting to tons of porting. Depends on your style of play. So you can attach the apex to any one of these. It comes is a mock silencer. Bad, bad. It goes right in. We just take one of these, for example. Take that. It goes into the back of it. Screws directly in. Boom. Or you could add on the extender. Take off the end of the silencer. The mock silencer, I should say. And then put it on. So you have it even longer. Like, dude, this thing was crazy. It looks... Amazing, very light, very durable. Very cool stuff, man. I mean, this is like really, really well put together stuff. It's not plastic, it's all metal, it's all very cool, except for the Apex, and the Apex itself is worth every bit that you get because you screw this into the Apex, you can still adjust the Apex in your own. Some guys are very cool with it. They just carry the Apex in your backpack, use another tip, and when they want to shoot long distance, you just throw this on in the middle of playing. Excellent. I don't know what else to say. Um, fake suppressor has got the cool bit four barrel tips that I showed you. Um, this particular kit I have is made for the A5, X7, or BT4. Very cool. It shoots great. Like, I mean, it, it's tantamount to a lot of the aftermarket stuff that's out there. Badass. I mean, these guys really... I didn't... I'm new to this company, and when I got it, I was like, what? Huh? So, yeah, um, go watch the show. Enjoy Living Legend 3. I'm going to go play around this thing some more. And, you know, I would stay tuned to the end of the show, because you might just get a surprise. Hint, hint! Oh, yeah! Ladies and gentlemen, 
wolf here. Now, some of you may have called me a Tipman whore for certain readers, one or another, whatever. But I am at the Tipman tent. I'm here with Eric. Say hi, sir. Hi, sir. Nice. Talk to me, sir. What's new with Tipman? What's going on? What's good? Uh, the big stuff right now, we have the X7 Phenom. Ah, uh, yes. That's yep. the big yep. talk. I think it's like uh, one of my biggest videos right now. Like, geez, crazy. Blowing up big. <laughs> Most popular Let's walk there. inside. Let's look yeah, at some of the in. toys. Uh, they got their tent. Awesome setup. They got the new Greg Hastings scheme set up going soon. Um, here's the wall with some of the toys. Sure. We got the uh, TPX over here and the new 7-Ball Mags in. Ooh, hold on, hold on. 7-Ball Mag, I haven't done a review on that yet. I want to see this. Oh, it's very nice. Nice. Um, now, how's the mag different? Mag's different is it, we took one ball out. Yes. We got rid of the stagger. Okay. And went to a straight. Oh, it's a regular one, sorry. True feed, there it is. True feed mag. So the staggered mag. Yes. Is now straight. So check that oh. out. Oh. Interesting. Now, did you found better performance with that? Yeah, it has a much lighter spring. Yeah. So oh, yeah, the pressure, yeah. pressure on the balls are much, much less. Yeah. You know, it still locks down. Like so. Wow. This is actually. I was just gonna say that. that that's actually not even a, a spring. The very, the very last bit there is uh, two magnets opposing fields. So that's actually pushing what? up by a magnet. What? Seriously? Yes. Okay. You know what? Um, as I said, I've said before, and I'm saying it again. I'm sick of Tipman because they keep upping the game in this thing. This is awesome. Mm -hmm. This yeah. is awesome. It feeds very well. And then, you know, on Fully human, tested and everything. Yeah, on and human days like this, you know, the balls get soft. Yes. So they still feed. Where the staggered ones work fine. There's nothing wrong with the staggered. Yeah. It works in all, you know, good weather. This works in all weather. Wow. Now, two in a package you get for these. Yeah, uh, $29. $29 American. That's a great price. I don't know what they're going to be selling for up north, but compared to other companies and what they're selling them eggs for, that's huge. Anything else coming out that we should know about? Well, any any exclusives that we can know about? Just, just between us. <laughs> just between us? Just between us. A few thousand people? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but no, that's awesome, man. Uh, the Carver One, the Bravos. The yeah, all the U.S. Army looking markers. good. The new, the new paint job. I don't know if you guys have seen that yet on the Bravos. Mm -hmm. Crazy with it. Sure. Um, I've seen these all over the place. Got the new little 50-round hopper. Little yeah, 50 for the round SLs. hopper on the SLs. Yep, nice. Now, is that, does those come stock with the SL? Uh, right now, we're running a promotion. They're free with the marker. Interesting. Note. Nice. Mm -hmm. uh, you've got the new holsters out for the pistols. Yeah. Uh, very nice. Mm -hmm. Holsters are all in stock. Nice. Um, do these come all equipped too? Um, no, they don't. Okay. That's all right. I don't. I <laughs> hardly wear on my vest. I like doing it on my leg. These are very nice. Yes. So yeah, Eric, this is great. Now, what else did you, you got? New, new t-shirts. We got some new t-shirt designs. Oh, I'd be, oh, I'd be in trouble if I wore this. Yeah, took them off. <laughs> Very nice. Uh, they got the Tipman bags, gear bags. Oh, if you gear travel, bags. I travel a lot. Uh, different company bags, there are stuff. Tipman made very cool gear bags, and I got to do a review on one day because they're very simple yet fit a lot of stuff in it. Very good, very good design. Now, you guys cam carrying hammerhead stuff? Yeah, we have a uh, hammerhead selection okay. for uh, TPX, A5, A5X7. So hammerhead's an official thing with you guys? Yeah, yeah, they make them for us. Very nice. Excellent. Awesome. We're going to be around all weekend. Uh, yeah, I have some more chat going on. And uh, yeah, Tim and doing their thing as usual. Wolf is always happy with his guys. And if you, if I wasn't, you'd know about it. Thank you, sir. All right, thank you. Here to talk about dedication. Brandon, all the way from Hawaii. Damn! Hello, everybody. Nice. That's great. Uh, hold on. Uh, Aloha. How you say hi and buy it? Yes. Aloha. Very cool. <laughs> what what brought you here? How come you here? How come you all the way up here? Well, I've been playing paintball for almost 27 years. 27 years. And uh, all the. All my heroes are here. Yes. Broke away from my field. Closed my field down this weekend. Oh, you have a field in yeah. Hawaii? I run the largest paintball field in Hawaii. What? What's it called? Hawaii All-Star Paintball Games. Really? Okay. You, I'll be putting the website for the field. If you're ever in Hawaii, why not? Like, come on. That's awesome, man. Wow. So you've been in the game for a minute. What do you think about it up here? Oh, uh, it's great. This is a great, great event. Yeah. 
uh, gathering of uh, good hearts, good mind, camaraderie, yes. which is what the game is That's all about. That's what it's about. all about. Buddy. All about. Yes, uh, sir, we are. Everybody, you know, hold that attitude, save the game, promote the game. Okay, nice. Thank you very much. Yeah, I got something for you from Hawaii. Yes. Some. Ah, nice. I like that. Me with me likey. Brandon, thank you very much. That's awesome. Dedication, people. I hear people complaining they don't want to drive a couple hours. This guy came from Hawaii. Suck it up, bitches. I was just talking paddles with my man Rogi here, and he was pointing out something very cool. Uh, yeah, t tell me what you were saying about locking paddles. So what I was saying about uh, the paddles, yeah. um, you know, there's all different kinds of paddles out there, squishy paddles, soft paddles, yeah. whatever you want to call them. Um, Tech T makes a few, Rap 4. Well, one thing you want to look for when you're, you know, upgrading paddles is yes. uh, there's this little index right here on the uh, cyclone feed. It's like a little flat spot. Okay. And that flat spot, that's how we actually lock our paddles onto the axle. Okay. Now, a lot of the, you know, soft paddles, they're really, really soft material, and it'll actually rotate on that axle, or I should say the axle will rotate inside the paddle. So, you know, what you'll have is you'll have the bottom paddle, it'll just be sitting in place, oh, and the top paddle will be spinning. Be moving. Okay. So, um, you want to make sure that you get some good interlocking paddles. Um, okay. Some of them, they just have a little index on the bottom of the paddle, and they lock into each other, and they won't, you know, spin opposite directions. So, that's just one thing you guys want to look out for. Awesome. Thank you very much, sir. Yeah, not a problem. So, yeah, for you guys with your cyclone feeds, and you want to upgrade your paddles, I haven't upgraded mine yet, so far they've been alright, but if you want to pay attention to that, we'll stand, we're out. Gentlemen, this is Wolf. I am here with Dan. Say hi. Hi, ladies this and gentlemen. This gentleman is a phenom within a phenom within itself. Um, you're a designer. Uh, you're amongst other things. Can you tell me some of the stuff you've worked on? Come on in close. Let's, get, let's talk to this gentleman. Uh, some of the projects I've worked on for Smart Parts yep. are the, the first gun I ever designed was the Epiphany. Wow. Uh, the EOS, the SP1, the Impulse. Yes. Uh, the vibe. Wow. Um, I designed all the packaging for the smart parts stuff, the new packaging with the, uh, the clipped corner on it. Wow. Are you getting this? Like, this guy's serious with it. How did you get into it? How did you, what made you want to start? Uh, well, when I was in high school, like, the first time I ever played, one of my buddies had a paintball birthday party, so yeah. I went out and I bought my own gun and tank and mask and everything. I bought it, you know, off one of my friends who wanted to get rid of his stuff. Yes. And we played till like 2.30 in the morning. My mask was all fogged up. I was chopping balls. Yeah. And I still had a blast. I had a great time. Yes. And I couldn't get enough of it. So I started playing, you know, regularly after that. I ended up getting a cocker. And wow. I've been hooked ever since. I've played tournament ball. I've played woods ball. Yep. And, uh, so you it's, it's been totally a Totally well-rounded. You just, you just into all of it. Yep. Yeah. Nice. I, mean, I love, I love both sides of it, you know, tournament and woods ball as well. Have you done anything other than like the smart price stuff? Have you done another company? Yep. I uh, thought you were allowed to say I don't want to get you in trouble no, no, no. or anything. I've, I've done some work for J.I. Milsom as well. Ah, I designed nice. motors for them, which uh, wow. aren't out yet. So Ooh. hopefully hopefully you'll see those pretty soon. <laughs> nice. On those. Uh, the Nano, the Micro, yes. the GI-50, which is you know, 50 caliber SP-1 pretty much. Wow. Similar internal to the body. So. Okay, hold on, hold on. Get this. How old are you? 27. Dude! I'm like twice his age and I haven't even... Holy shit, that's crazy. Excuse my language, I gotta beat that later. I never curse. Well done. Anything that we can look forward to? Or what do you got plans in the future? You just chilling for now? What up? Um, I'm working for a pretty large company right now. Okay. Um, I want to stay involved in the paintball industry. Yeah. I've, I've had talks with a couple other companies yes. as far as doing freelance or consulting work. Nice. I want to stay involved in the industry. You know, this is a passion of mine. And uh, I definitely want to stay stay involved wow. at a pretty, uh, pretty deep level. You know what? I, I heard things about you and I, I, I thought it was just a myth. But yeah, dude, you real? Uh, let me shake your hand because like, this is the type of people why I came here to meet guys like this. This guy is to paint by what Neo is to the Matrix. Excellent! Crazy, nice. son! Keep it up. I Keep do. up the good work. Do. Wolf Den, we're out. And if you saw the Las Vegas video, this is my homegirl, Phoenix. The one woman army. Say hi. Hey, what's up? How's things? Pretty good. Yeah? Good day out here. Who are you playing with today? One woman She's not on my team. <laughs> I'm on the other side. Traitor! Traitor! <laughs> How's things? What have you been up to? Oh, I've been going out there, chasing yeah. some people. Yeah. yeah, I'm a little more deaf than kills right now, so yeah. <laughs> it's kind of hard playing stock class uh, yeah. on such a large amount of players. Yeah, so. I know. You gotta adapt. This is one of the most intense lady players I know to date. <laughs> like, great. She makes me look weak. That's hot. Uh, what's Thanks. new for you? What's coming up in the future? What's good? Um, 
not too much, you know, just trying to play as much as I can. Can't really afford to travel too much, so I'm just trying to do what I can. Yeah. So, but I'm going to be at D-Day, so it's going to be oh, my yeah? first okay. D-Day. I think so. I might be too. I might be fine. <laughs> Nice. She's gonna hang out with me, <laughs> some, for, see some other stuff around, and we're just gonna have fun this weekend, right? Oh yeah. All right. Oh, yeah. Go ahead, great. We're out. Wolf is here with the legendary Weltman. Say Please. hi, sir. Hello there. Not legendary. Just dude that just Come play on. paintball. Everybody who plays paintball knows of you. Well, most people. They're experienced, you guys. What are you doing here today? How's things? Oh well, first of all, the weather is sweltering. Everyone's dying. Yes. People are dropping. Yeah. Apart from that. Uh, Play is, is what it is, yeah. which pretty much means nothing. Yeah, <laughs> they need to suck it up. Whatever, man. What are you sporting today, man? I love them. I'm digging the outfit. What are you uh, rocking today? What kind of weapon were we looking at? I never go anywhere without this. Oh! <laughs> Can you get a close up of that real quick? Tell me about this. This is uh, my, my first uh, lever action gun that I made. Okay. And you know, in '91 we all saw Terminator 2. We yeah. saw Arnold Schwarzenegger spinning that. Go, dude, that is awesome as hell. So the next year, yeah. so in '92, I built this out of a KP2. <laughs> so this is actually 18 years old. Wow. Okay. And can you tell me what's it from? Like, how did you build it? Like, was well, a KP2 is a pump gun with a full rifle stock on it. Yeah. Like old school class guys like that sort. Of, you know, they were familiar with it. But I, I took the full stock off. Actually, yeah. I first cut it down into like a short grip. Yep. And then I removed the wood entirely. And I made a new wood and I made the uh, lever action to cock the mechanism instead. Wow. And then. Uh, and it's, more have been produced since then, but this is the oldest. Nice. And the uh, and of course it wouldn't be Arnold T2 gun unless I could do this. <laughs> Did you get that bolt? Oh, nice. So, that, uh, sir, I'm impressed. Actually, that's actually hot right now, so I better put that away. Yeah, <laughs> get us in trouble. Um, very nice. And so also this that I don't go home without either. Legendary uh, paintball knife. Not many guys are allowed to run with this. He's one of the few. <laughs> very cool. And it leaves a mark. And leaves a mark. He can actually mark guys in the game with this. He's been known to do it. If you can sneak up behind them, you get a neck. Oh, crazy. Or, or when they turn around behind you and everyone's got their name on your back, you cross it out. <laughs> <laughs> nice. And all his friends get to walk around with, hey. Oh, you got tagged, baby. And it doesn't wipe off. You got to wash it off. Oh, sweet. Or, or your wife gets to find lipstick on your paintball clothes. Wow. Hey, <laughs> hey, hey. Nice. I like that. I Sir. haven't heard any horror stories from that, though, so it's pretty Is cool. there a website that people find yet? Is there anything you we got We do on, have a online? team website. What is that? Paintballsfinest.com. <laughs> That's all you need. Sir, it's been a pleasure. Our, our oh. patch says uh, paintball. Well, you should, normally the patch says Detroit's finest, but we have guys in Minneapolis and Illinois. And okay. Are you with Damage Inc., too? I'm the emperor of Damage Inc. <laughs> Enough said. Enough said. <laughs> Sir, it's been a pleasure. Wolf. Have fun. Absolutely. Go. Yeah. So, all right, ladies and gentlemen, how are you doing? I am with a legend. Please introduce yourselves. Tom K. Here with the newest product in paintball, the shoebox compressor. Nice. Now, those in paintball know Tom. See Tom. He's been in the industry forever. I'm not trying to make you seem old or anything. Don't worry about it. Um, you go way back. Can you tell us a bit about yourself, a bit about the history, what you're doing now? Sure, sure. Well, I was got into paintball back in uh, 86. Nice. So nowadays, that's uh, pretty far back in the alley. <laughs> I hear you. Still around, still around. Yeah. So I was out of paintball for about five years. Yeah. And uh, now I'm getting back into paintball. And yeah. Producing this uh, small miniature 4500 psi compressor. Crazy. I've been here about it. I've been here about this everywhere. I've seen it on the net. Um, how'd you come up with the idea? Well, it's kind of strange. A friend of mine came up to me and he said, you know, I've got this tank that I'm using on my nail gun. He's yeah. Not really a paintball player. Wow. And he said, you know, I can't get this tank refilled. He goes. You know, my battery charger, he goes, I stick my battery in a charger, and it yes. takes overnight to fill, uh, to recharge the battery. He goes, why can't you make me a compressor? I can put this tank on, it takes overnight to fill the, the tank. Yes. And that was like the light bulb came on. Absolutely. So I went to the forums, and I asked him, I said, what about a little compressor that will take overnight at that time, like 24 hours, to yes. fill your tank? Wow. And they said, great. We love that idea. Yes. So I started working on the numbers, and actually it's gone from 24 hours down to 12 hours. Now the one we have here at the final product yeah. will fill a tank in about four hours. Wow, that's huge, people. That's huge. Nice. And as a, when do you, do you expect mass production soon? What do you, how are you going to work that out? Are you just selling small units one at a time? We're, this is the first run of 100 units, and what okay. we're trying to do is get all the bugs worked out in this first 100. Okay. So these are kind of going out slow, and we're being real careful with them. But then the next run is going to be about 500 after that. That's when we'll start selling them to the general public. Nice. Be good to go. Uh, anything else you want to add? For people? Oh, well, just good to be back it. in paintball. You know, this is great here. This is the Living Legends. Nice. We've got the tournament going on at the same time. Absolutely. So we're able to see everything. You know, if you're missing this, you're really missing a great, great event at a really great field here. Very CBS. much so. Yes, yeah. absolutely. This is where we did Shatner Ball, and it's fantastic. Yeah, that's right. I miss Shatner Ball being a Trekkie. That really sucked, but hey, what can you do? Let's go take a look at the unit real fast. Let's go. Thank well, you. Work. you got to take your shot back in here. 85 feet at a time. We'll 
job like that from Harbor Freight, 40 bucks. Yeah. Plug it in here, 85 to 100 max. Yeah. Plug in your line here on the fill nipple, the other end of your fill nipple on your gun. Yeah. Turn it on. Nice. Well done. Watch the pressure go up here. Once the pressure hits about 4,500 PSI, it'll turn off on its own. Okay. Let it go a little more. Very cool technology for paintball, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, this is the newest of the new. There it goes. Wow. And here's your bleeder valve here to degas the line to disconnect your tank. Start another one and start all over. Excellent. Thank you. So, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, keep an eye out for the product. Any website in particular that should. Facebook, miniature, Facebook, miniature compressor for paintball. Awesome. I will put a link for that down below on this video so you can find it easy and talk to this gentleman. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it. Coming back. Here I am with some very cool guys from the Four Horsemen team. Say hi, guys. Fox. Cowboy. Stay down. Okay. We're gonna be nice and loud. Have fun with it. Let's go. These guys are wearing the brand, brand new Falcon gear. Stuff is crazy. I reviewed it really quick when we did the uh, Hurt Locker game. Uh, what do you guys think of it? You guys are sporting it really nice. What are your opinions on it? Flexible, cool. Yeah. Air breeze right out of it. You can get right down. You can slide. You can run. You can dive. Everything's nice. great. It's beautiful. That's awesome. Um, how have you been playing with it throughout the weekend? Uh, first, first weekend with these shirts. Yeah. Awesome for a hot weekend like this. Do you wear a tactical vest with it? Yes, or? we do. Yes, okay. we do. And it still breathes okay. Very breathable. Very breathable. Right. Stays dry. Keeps you cool. Nice. Most comfortable thing we've had on to play in. Okay. Now I see you're making use of one thing. Coming close. Uh, one thing I really like about this company, they're actually one of the few who are putting Velcro on their jerseys with pockets. These guys are utilizing it. Everything's staying on okay? Yes. yes. Tell me very, very fast about some of these. All right, well, Tipman, obviously. Yep. Working with the Phenom and the TPX. Yep. That's our button. Yep. Rank Pack. Yep. Tech T, one of our favorite sponsors. Yep. One of our favorite sponsors, yep. Mapco. And, of course, got to support the colors. Oh, yeah, baby. I love these Americans. They're pretty, ain't they? Okay. Um... Yeah, guys, how's the game going so far? You like it? Pretty good. Pretty okay, good. anywhere we can find hor uh, Four Horsemen? Do you have a website or anything? Uh, yes, we do. We uh, www.fourhorsemen.com. Okay, and is your how many of your crew here? Uh, we got eight today. Nice, excellent. These are the guys who are keeping the game alive, keeping the game real. Thank you very much for your dedication. Ooh, actually, I'm sorry. Uh, yes. Fourhorsemanpaintball.com. Fourhorsemanpaintball.com. Get it straight. Ladies and gentlemen, I am here with Jay from Excellent. Hey there. Hi. This is the piece of art that I've been trying to get a hold of for a very long time. It's been a while. This is awesome. It's just, just looking at it just creates an emotion in me that I cannot express on camera properly. Tell me about the brand new Angel Eye. The Angel Eye, keep in mind, these are pretty rough prototypes. Yep. We've had them literally all over the world showing them to people. Yeah. So they've, they've, they've had some wear. Yeah, that's all right. Uh, production models need to be a lot softer. Yep. They're very easy to, to take care of. The lenses pop right out. If you want to yep. hang on to that, I will okay. show you. Let me just put it on while he's getting that. It. Oh, wow. It's crazy. The peripheral vision is like, bam. Like, wow. And if you notice I, on the sides, yeah. there's absolutely no distortion from the curve of the lens. We used optical polycarbonate so you don't have any distortion also the yeah that's around. very true actually holy gee that's very cool man wow like damn yeah talk to me like production this. units will have thermal lenses these are coated lenses we decided to hear. thermal lenses are going to be way better for all the players so that's what we put in them good to hear to take the lenses out these yeah. will just pop off there's a strap piece right here yeah that folds in on both sides wow just like that okay boom the lens is off just like that wow so you want to change from smoke to clear to yeah. clear, whatever you want to do. Yeah. Yellow, we can do that just, just that quick. Wow, As that's a safety easy. feature, if you don't push these back, yeah. clearly you can't put it on because that's going to smash you in the side of the head and it won't Very good. So from a safety feature, that locks in and you're good to go. Now, these are, like I'm very, these are ridiculously comfortable. The inside material, what is it? It's like, it's going to be a real soft material, and as you can see, it doesn't have a goggle frame. No. Most of them started with a goggle and put a face Yeah, exactly. Back. What we did is start with a lens, and then the padding is actually sitting on your cheekbones. So it's going to fit a lot more people better than most other masks. Holy. Some masks fit one person better than another. This fits almost everybody. Holy sh Nike. All right, this is awesome, man. Thanks. When can we expect these on the market? When can I buy these? The two big questions are, when can I get them? Yes. How much are they? Yeah. I've got a really good answer for one and an okay answer. <laughs> okay. The mask, <laughs> we're shooting for 119 on the base model. The 
fancier versions with the mirrored lenses and stuff will be yeah. ten bucks more. Uh, we'll have six different versions out there when yeah. we get them out. Yeah. Uh, I'm shooting for end of summer. We've got a couple okay. things. We've got to get certification. You know what? You know what? Like Don't rush it. Take your time. Bring it out. Get it done right. When it's out, it'll be out right. That's what I like to hear. It will be right. These are hot. I mean, they got this crazy... Like the new Stormtrooper on Star Wars look. I love this. It's futuristic. It's a new thing. Yeah. Everybody comes up to it and wants to see it because of how it looks. Yeah. They put it on and they want it for that. Yes. Way. It's looks and feel and... Everything, all, all you need. Thank you, sir. Anytime. Anything else? Uh, for the scenario, guys, we put in a spot for the wires for the comm units. It's already built in. So <laughs> no screwing with your mask. It's built in right from the start. It's been a pleasure. Take care. Awesome. Wolfton, the new Angel Eye mask. Keep an eye on these babies. They're so hot, I'd even wear them to a strip club, baby. Hoo ya. Ladies and gentlemen, Wolf here, the ego, the icon. Greg Hastings, say hi, sir. Do I have to yell too? Yes! Awesome! All right, here we go. <laughs> new, new, this head, tell, okay, for the people who don't know you, those who've been living under a rock for a very long time, tell them who you are. I'll tell you what you've done. Uh, my name is Greg Hastings, and I'm just like you. I love the sport of paintball. Nice. And I'm fortunate enough to travel around and uh, shoot my friends in ear hole. Nice. Yes, I like doing that too. Um, you know, a lot of projects for you going up. One of the big ones coming is the new video game. Yes. Uh, is it Hastings Part 2? Well, part we're calling it uh, Greg Hastings Paintball 2. Okay. Because it's the second engine. That's right, yeah. First one, we did away with that. Yeah. And uh, we got rid of the tournament part of yeah. the title. Yeah. Because now we've encompassed all parts of paintball. Oh, Pups, yeah. pistols, tanks, yes. rockets. We still have speedball, we still yes. have X-ball, we yes. still have all the fun stuff. Beautiful. But we expanded, we got every aspect of the sport. Awesome, I was playing the game. They had a whole bunch of markers in there, a whole bunch of people. Uh, they had tournament markers and scenario markers. Crazy. We got them all. What's up? Talk to me. We're in it. Oh, oh yeah. Some oh, of my crew is in it. They got the pictures in it. Well, that's a fun. That's a fun fact. We have 1,100 real paintball players. Wow. That I've taken photos and signed up from all around the world. Wow. Germany, England, all over North America. <laughs> so when you play this game, there is not one non-paintballer in the game. It is 100% full that's, of real paintball. That is what you call keeping it real. Legit. Nice. Legit. Um, when's the release date? Do you have one September. yet? September. Okay. September. Wii, 360, and PlayStation 3. Wow. Are you making any appearances anywhere else? Anywhere people can find you? I am doing the Greg Hastings Tour of Duty again this year, sponsored Woo! by GameStop. Nice. God bless GameStop. They're helping us uh, sell games and helping uh, me play paintball for free. GameStop.com? GameStop.com. There you go. Um, do you have your own website? It's uh, GregRedHastings.com. That's actually the official uh, game site. Greg awesome. Red Hastings. Yep. And you played on what side today? You were against me. That's right. Okay. Yellow. That may be why they lost. So anyways. Uh, I want to know why you're clean and I'm dirty. What's the deal here? He's clean, I'm dirty. What happened? He's just that good. He was barking out orders in the back and I'm up there hailing business. There we go. That's the deal. No comment. <laughs> I, I, we put him on the hill. Nice. I put him on the hill. I got video if you need to see it. <laughs> All right. It, uh, By it, the way, I got video. I have uh, all my confirmed kills nice. on there. 1080p, 60 oh. frame a second. I think that's the same camera we got, is it not? I, nice. I get the paintball from the end of the barrel all the way to somebody's face. Where can awesome. I see that? Uh, actually, uh, I'm not sure. Actually, okay. you'll probably see it on gregredhastings.com. Okay. You got the weeks. website, so how was it overall? This yeah. event is, is awesome. The last time I was here, yeah. I played with William Shatner. I know. That's I the last that. time I was here. It was an unbelievable time. I, I saw pictures. I wasn't there on the set. Hey, and it, was, <laughs> it, it was epic. I, I'm not making this up. The dude parachuted out of a, out of a plane, yeah. landed in that field, and I was part of one of the security details. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The dude, I'm like looking at Captain Kirk fall out of the sky. <laughs> It was as ridiculous as it gets. You've got to love this freaking sport. Who else does that? It's crazy. It's sir, amazing. pleasure in an honor. My pleasure. Until next pleasure, year. Sir. Yes, sir. Hoo yeah, baby. We're hey, out. Here we go. We have oh. to talk Straight tripping, no dead man. Okay, well, ladies and gentlemen, Wolf, here with Evelyn. Say hi. Hi. Uh, first time play? Yes, first she, time ever. She picked one of the biggest games in the country to play for the first time. Crazy. What do you think? Insane. I was, you know, everyone, all my girlfriends were like, you know, it's going to hurt. And I was like, yeah, I feel sick. I like put some welts on my arms, you know. Um, yeah. You know, just, I mean, my boyfriend definitely a big part of it. Yes. Huge pain Six, eight, five. Six, eight, five. Then, Six, eight, five. Well, you know, she represented. Yes. She played. She had fun. Got a few, got a few. 
Yeah. See, lady, it's, it's, not, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. You think, right? Oh, yeah, it's not bad at all. We all look gung ho, but we still have fun doing it. Exactly. Where are you from? Oh, I'm from uh, Cross Bay, Illinois. Nice. Northwest nice. suburbs. Nice. An hour away. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. Nice meeting you. We'll stand. Zero Ladies, three, eight. everyone plays and has fun. Hoo ya. Hoo ya. Nice. Yeah. Done? Hotness. All right, damn, I'm long winded. New Action Pursuit Games Edition. Pick this up. I have two stories in it. You're going to want to know what they are for the next mission. Um. Living Legends, sorry it was so long. I had to get a lot in there. I still got stuff left coming up, but that's going to be separated through other episodes. Newest stuff coming soon. The flask kit. Oh my gosh, this thing is crazy with it. Everything. And it's going to really break my heart to do this. Um, like, I've, I've really grown attached to this thing. I'm giving it away. <laughs> What you talking about, Louis? <laughs> I'm giving away this entire kit. Worth huge money, baby. All you need to do, be a subscriber. Say down below why you want the kit. Uh, this is for the A5, X7, or B4. I want to welcome all my new viewers from pbnation.com, paintballnation.com. Uh, Borg, get through your flood. Croatia, hold your head up. I want to see some more videos by Borg. Look out, look out for that guy. He's crazy with it. Claim your contest prize. If you do win it, uh, you need to respond for the uh, flask paintball kit. You need to you need to say something down below before Friday night at midnight on June 18th. And if you do win, from now on, you're gonna have 48 hours to respond after I announce the winner because then it gets put back into the pot and someone else doesn't win it because I want those guys who check in regularly to win. Watson Wolf Den, sorry I'm behind. I'm a lot of email right now. I got stuff to do. I've been I'm just traveling like crazy. I'll get, I'll reply emails as soon as I can, people. Please have patience for me, all right? Whoa, I'm looking out for you. Who else is doing that? Paintball, Action Pursuit Games, Wolf, good night. Oh!